Hello, welcome back to Ask Alan. As I've explained before, the intent of this channel is to talk about cocktails and things that are, are lower carb uh, for those of you who want to um, have lower carb cocktails or, or other drinks. Um, today I wanted to start talking about bourbons. There's a lot of different bourbons out there, a lot of things that are very expensive, but uh, uh, and there are some budget ones that are very good as well. But today I wanted to start because I don't want to run out of this stuff before I get a chance to talk about it. Uh, this is Heaven's Door Bourbon. And uh, the reason it's heaven, called Heaven's Door is Bob Dylan is the person who's behind it. He evidently picks the casks that will be mixed into the different uh, different expressions. Uh, he's evidently got a lot to do with the, uh, with this uh, putting the, the brand together. It's not just his name behind it from what I've read. And uh, I decided to get some to try it and found it to be very, very good. These bottles are quite, quite uh, nice too. They have outlines of ironworks that are pictured here are from ones that he has done. So each, each uh, expression has a different um, ironworks uh, depicted on it. And, uh, and again, the way that uh, these are put together, as I understand it, is that he picks the barrels and, and, dis and uh, works with the, the master distillers on what each expression will be. I have these two. The first one is this double barrel whiskey, and I'd read up before I, I um, bought, the, bought the bottles to see which ones were best and which ones I could actually afford. Uh, I think this double barrel, when I bought it, I believe was less than 50, I think. Uh, it's been a little while since I purchased it, but uh, um, then this one here is a cask strength um, straight bourbon whiskey. And that one, I think, was maybe 70 or could, could have been up to 80. Um, as an unwritten rule, I just don't buy stuff that's $100 and more because that's, <laughs> I don't want to spend that much money. Uh, so I try to find things that's, that are well below $100. Uh, I rarely spend over 60 and most of the time, anything that I, I do buy is going to be below 50. Um, there's a lot of decent stuff below 50. I mean, the, the stuff that gets smoother and better tasting, those things can get up into the hundreds of dollars. Uh, but most of us just can't afford that. Now, of course, bourbon, just straight bourbon, shouldn't have any sugars in it. The uh, corn sugar is what feeds the the process to create the alcohol, and what's left should be non non not sugary, not uh, carby, but will have uh, calories. So that those calories eventually do convert. But if you're if you're going to make something like an old fashioned out of this, uh, which it be, it's very good with an old fashioned. Use Splenda, for instance, and, and make your simple syrup, if you're using simple syrup, out of uh, Splenda or Allulose. Um, I often don't put a, a cherry in my Old Fashioned, but uh, if you do, just be aware that there, are, of course, are calories and, and carbs in, 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 the, in the cherries. But a, a cherry muddled with, uh, with an orange, a slice of orange before you make your old fashioned is how I found the, the most the tastiest way to do it old fashioned. Um, that with a little bit of, uh, of simple syrup. So um, today these these are going to be done straight. I've got Glencairn glasses to help with that, and uh, and let's uh, see what we we have here. Definitely has a good smell. It's not an overbearing smell. I think this one comes in at, let's see, what was the proof on this? Um, this is a 100 proof, so 50% ABV. 
Do do smell a little bit of caramel. Have the the uh, wood oak um, back note back smells. Smells good, quite smooth. Let's give it a taste. It's got a little bit of fruity taste. A little cinnamon. Now I'm not perfect at uh, picking out tastes and things. I just know if it's good, it's good. And this is very, very good. <clears throat> Try to clean off my palate a little bit. And uh, this uh, cask strength one, this one comes in. Well, I think it was 116. No, this was 111.5. 55.75 and it was just out of this particular cask that that's what they got because this is uh, written on the label um, it's uh, bottle number 25 barrel number 172 um, and this one is quite good as well it's been a little bit you know a little while since I've, I've tasted this so Definitely has a smoother, smoother uh, smell. Vanilla. A little bit of a more creamy smell to it. Nice and smooth, has a little bit of burn on the back of the throat. A little bit of caramel, maybe some vanilla in there. Definitely a good taste. Now the taste of both of these are it's, there's difference, different differences. Um, the the uh, double barrel is a little bit more wood flavor to it. Um, if it tastes a little stronger even though it's a lower ABV. But both of these are really good. Now the, again the reason I wanted to go through this now was the bottles are not that full <laughs> and I don't know how long I'm going to have these. Um, they uh, are not sold locally. I have had to buy these through an online service um, and uh, it, it, you all can find this out there and uh, there's some really nice ones there's a decade series that uh, I can't afford to buy I, I'm not gonna spend that kind of money um, up front uh, but you know some of those may be not too too expensive but I think some of them are getting fairly pricey I'd love to be able to try one of the decade series uh, Bob if you're watching this Feel free to send me a bottle and I'll try it and I'll tell people how great it is. Because I know as as much as I like these, I know that those ones that are are aged longer are going to taste even better. Dylan does some great stuff. Um, he does some great iron work. And he also does some great bourbons. So these are things that uh, I would highly encourage you if you are wanting to try some great bourbons and uh, sit back and listen to, to some Bob Dylan music. These are the ones to get. Um, I enjoyed them, and uh, I know that you will as well. On, uh, um, on that, I think that that's all we can say on these. Um, again, uh, like, subscribe, um, add comments. Um, I'm gonna try to, to build this community as, as much as I can. I don't know how much I can, but um, definitely let me know what you think of this video or let me think, know what you think of the other videos that I've done and uh, help me by, um, by sharing this with other people. Um, 
and uh, as many likes and subscriptions as I can get, the, the better it will be. Uh, that helps to get uh, get this up on the, um, the suggested uh, views for people. Um, I do think that uh, many of you uh, will enjoy this, and, and this particular bourbon is, is a great line, and uh, you can't go wrong. Any of the ones that you get will be good. Um, that's uh, that's my opinion, of course, but uh, I don't think that you will find that to be incorrect at all. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to the next opportunity we have to, to stand together and raise a glass and uh, meet, even have uh, some Dylan music in the background. Yes, that is good. Thank you.